All of us have stories to tell in our lives. I unfortunately have two. At one point in my life, I thought I was free from pain and suffering, but I was wrong. Very, very wrong. My name is Bruin Somers, and this is my final story. ago. They're dead. He's not real, but I am. Just focus on me. I can't keep doing this, Sarah. People are going to think I'm insane. It's been two weeks since the last one. looks like me now. He's me. He's not you. It's all in your mind. Did you think it would just be normal when you came back? We knew it would be difficult. Not this difficult. I'm sorry, but there's no way you'll ever understand what's going on inside my mind. Maybe there's no future for me.
tell us who you are. My name's Brogan. I've been here for two years now. I wasn't anywhere close enough to saving Zoe. And I have memories of those days. The memories haunt me. Do you have any kind of warning when these panic attacks are going to be happening? Yeah. And what is it? It's really hard to explain. You know, everything I went through on that island makes things really complicated. Look, you survived a plane crash. You spent two years on a deserted island. You had to watch your girlfriend starve to death before your eyes. I can't even imagine what that experience would have been like. Zoe, please! No, 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 no. No! Zoe! No! Zoe, I'm begging you, please! Maybe it's me, it's me! It's me, it's broken! a lot more complicated than that. Do you feel like you gained anything from that experience? Yeah. That I'm completely fucked up. No, no, I mean a better understanding of life. I mean, you saved the lives of five other people, and now you may have actually found somebody you can share these experiences with. Sarah doesn't understand me. I used to think she did, but I don't know anymore. You see, Doc, a normal person would have lost their mind if they went through what I did. I should have. Well, maybe another man, but not you. You've got something else. I know there's something you're not telling me. Something that happened on that island. No, look, Rogan. You need to find a way to trust yourself enough to listen to yourself. I mean, you're not going to listen to me. You're not going to listen to Sarah. You've got to learn to listen to yourself. You know what? I think we're done here. The only reason I'm here is because Sarah made me come. What about your father? My father? Why the hell are you bringing him up? Look, I understand you're trying to be strong for your father. I mean, you feel responsible for his death, so now you want him to see you as being strong like he was strong. Fuck you, Charlie. You know damn well that my dad died of a heart attack four years ago. You think that I'm trying to make myself look different for him? I'm not trying to do anything different. I just want to be normal. I don't need to talk to you. 
I don't need to talk to anyone. We're done here. But then you better find someone to talk to before you hurt yourself even more. Now, look, I haven't spoken to the police or anyone else yet about your injuries, but I will step in further if I even think you pose a risk to yourself or anyone else. Find someone to talk to, Brogan. It never seems to stop for me. There's a line you never want to cross in your life. I'm creeping up on that line. What the hell? Leo? Hey, man. What are you doing here? Well, you haven't been returning my messages, so... Just came looking for you. Hey, your messages. Sorry about that, bud. No, I, I've been busy. It's okay. I, I called Sarah, and she said that, uh... Today was your first day out of the house in a week. Mm. So... But, but she said you also went to a therapist, so that's good. Yeah, so, uh... Been talking to Sarah? Why, I'll tell you what. The next time we speak with her, Tell her to mind her own fucking business, Leo! I do whatever the hell I want. Look, dude, you, you need help. I'm sorry, I just... When I first heard you were alive, I was... I was excited, you know, relieved even, but... Over these last few months, you've... You've changed. And I, and I thought I thought a therapist could help, but... But apparently not, so... Let me help you. <sighs> <sighs> I think it's best you leave now, okay? Leave! Be Leo alone, Leo! Dude, you're falling to pieces, okay? You drop out of your last semester of college, and then you quit your job. This isn't you, man. Yeah. Good? Son of a bitch! Fuck away from me. Leo, please. Baby, it's me! The door's locked! Sarah, baby, come on! Open the door! Sarah! He's back! Sarah! The door! Sarah! Open the fucking door! Sarah, baby, open the fucking door! Son of a bitch! 
citizens now! Said you went crazy today? I saw multiple people. Ask them. And how do I look? As beautiful as always. Look, I'll make us some dinner and we'll figure this out before it gets too much attention. Are you hungry? get them involved anymore. You don't understand me. No, it's worse. You can't understand me because you're normal. Unlike me. I'm fucking crazy. 
I told you this once before, and I showed you I understand. I lost my father too, remember? No, there is only one person who can help me, and he can't because he's dead. And you'll be dead too if you don't leave me. Sir, I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't leave. I'm sorry, but I gotta take care of this. No broken weight. My dad died four years ago from a heart attack. There's no way I could have saved him. And you think, now that I'm trying to look different for him? Find someone to talk to, Brogan. What you want Can you hear me? Dad, I need you. I need you, Dad. I'm not strong enough. Are you okay, Mr. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know anyone was here. That's okay. This is a good place to clear your head. I come here a lot when things are crazy at home. Yeah, I know the feeling. What's your issue? Everybody just hates each other. More love should be spread. You talk to your parents about this? Yeah, but that works a lot. Mom's always stressed. I just want to do good for people, but I don't always get the very return to me. I just hope this doesn't continue as I get older. I have my own dreams that I want to make true. Well, kid, I say chase those dreams. You want to know something? I went through a lot of the same stuff as you when I was your age. I even had dreams. I still do. I just... I don't think they're ever going to happen, you know? Do me a favor. What's that? If you chase your dreams, I'll chase mine. Got yourself a deal, kid. So what's your issue? I'm sorry, but there's no way you'd understand. 
Hey, it's not your fault. I don't think anybody on this world would understand what I'm going through. Then maybe you should talk to somebody that's out of this world. <laughs> What's your name, kid? Brody Summers. Try listening to music, Brogan. Music takes the stress off and lets you see the brighter side of the world in your life. Remember when you were little and bring it here on weekends? Sang our favorite country songs all evening. Are you real? I'm always here for you, son. I thought I'd never see you again. I never stop looking out for you, bro. Never. How could you be proud of me? I've done nothing but cause people harm. I've killed people for God's sakes. Every single person in the universe faces trials, Brogan. What matters is the way they face those. Yeah. So you're saying you had trials like mine? For me, my family troubles when I was a young man, I felt would end me, but I overcame them. Married your mother, raised you and your sister. I thought I wouldn't make it, but I did. I had a full and wonderful life. I had everything that a husband and father could imagine, ever possibly hope for. And you can beat these trials and have the same life, but you need to make it that way. It's not so easy when you have a zombie attacking you every second of the day. Do what you do best and win. But how? By not forgetting what got you to this point in time. You fought and fought like a man for two years and defeated those monsters. Those friends that you made and that new girl, she might just be that one. And you need to treat her with the respect that she deserves. She lost her dad too as well. And you need to figure out that she does understand. She has always been there for you. And now you can be there for her. You're a man who's ready to fight for what he wants. And what you want is her, your friends, and being free. Don't be scared. Everything will be all right, Brogan. I promise you. Love you, son. know why? Because you're not real. You're in my head. You're in my head. Which means I control you. Oh God. And I control what goes on inside my mind. I control reality.
like old times. Like I said, I control what happens here in my mind. And here, I can do whatever I want. I understand now. None of this is real. Sarah was right. She always was. So, you know, go ahead and make as many copies of yourself as you want. Because it's not going to work. <sighs> Shit. Bravo, Brogan. Bravo. Don't you just hate it when you run into yourself? Fear, isn't it? You still fear me, Brogan. I'll admit, though, you fought bravely, but you don't deserve to be off that island. You wanna know why, Brogan? Because you killed Zoe. Don't forget, Brogan. I know all your moves. <laughs> that may be true, but I learned a few new things myself. <laughs> like having a heart. And this! <laughs> oh. You always wanted to learn how to swim, Brogan. Well, now's your chance! I'm in control. This is it. Can't win, even in my own imagination. Sinking lower and lower. Seeing the sky starting to fade into darkness. I realize now, there are just some battles you can't win. I regret so much. Wish I had spent more time with the people I love instead of being afraid of the world. But it's too late now. I'm sorry. It's time for me to go.
Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dad. Sarah. Your mind is your most powerful weapon, but for a long time, I never got it. I never let it in. But you need to let the ones that love you help guide you through your life. No one is ever alone, not even me.